Hello, nice to see you. So I would uh, firstly, before we expand, open, close, etc., what we uh, what we doing uh, quite regularly, um, I would um, I would speak about about steps and power to expand. Yeah. So we know that we we expand we expand to the sky. Yeah. And the arm can expand different. Uh, the arms can expand different, different direction, and same foot can expand different direction. Yeah. So uh, now uh, you you see that my my toes expand expand there, and when I'm making step like this, uh, and I expand, I don't expand. On top of the ground, I expand through the ground. So my mm, my how I would how I would say it like <clears throat> uh, before. Then we move. We create something. What I would translate from from Slovakian like like mind body or something like the picture. What we want to do it it's created in our mind and then body copy the, the picture so I'm <clears throat> my body going going through through that and then I touch with tip of toes but because I have power to expand therefore I have I have quite um, strong toes and then I shift weight and so firstly I touch with toes and then I touch with balls and, and then I touch with the um, with rest of the of the foot, yeah. And I don't need to touch like straight like this on on one line, but I can I can touch in the circle. Yes. So the principle is working similar. I explain it on on coins in in my in my block, but is 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 like this. So I touch here, and then it makes it makes rotation. So it's not going like this, but I step and a little bit I'm going like this, and a, a rotation absorb a lot of power. Okay, same like if we roll, yeah. That I don't know if I have you know, for enough 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 space here. So if if I'm here and I roll. And if I roll, that's <coughs> that's mean that the lots of power mm, from the from the contact of the ground is spread in the roll. Okay, if I just fell down like, and I'm not rolling, that would be very that would be very painful. Okay, so same here. I step here and then I I making I exaggerate the movements something like this. Whoops. Oops! And when you're walking, when you're walking through the hill, you're coming here, and then you can make, and then you make the step like, like this, yeah, like this, okay? And yeah, so it's here, this, and when I'm going here again, uh, many people going through the balls, yeah. But that's absolutely different, different quality. Like if I'm going through the through the toes, that I expand, expand there, yeah. And if I expand, if I do, I do it now with arms. This, this. So I do it here, here, and that's actually literally catapult me forward yeah I do it to the other side so firstly step here then I make step and now I expand through my toes and the expanding make me step a quality of that is very different like if you push to the ground then if you expand yeah, we will uh, we'll do it um, with the press ups. It's same like if we if we do press ups with the muscles.
or we expand. We expand and then we also apply apply fascia. Uh, now we uh, we have not um, uh, <coughs> training partner. I would also like you uh, like to ask you that um, I have idea that maybe once per month we would make the class <coughs> with training partner. Think about it and then we can have chat um, in the group about that because there is many exercise which would be good to do with training partner. Yeah. So this is this is this is about step. We analyze different different kind of uh, kind of steps, and um, I very quickly explain a system system step. System step is such that the leg is hanging down. So if I put it here, it is it is always always down, and when it's down, I'm 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 making step such that the weight is on the back leg and front leg is perpendicular to the ground and I make step like this. Yeah? Then when I lift the back leg is flowing under me and normally people lift the leg forward and, and then make step but in a classic systema, systema things when I, when I make the step here the leg is under me and I shift without touching and the legs is under me. Okay, this is small summarization from previous class. Uh, now I can better, better grab it and uh, we will work with this aspect more. So, now, expand. Maybe expanding to open, then we also expand to close. Try add bending backwards, yeah. bending forward, the different part of of back. Yeah. Now expand and add rotation. Every combination. Okay. Now we close, still expand, and we add rotation. Somebody please turn off your uh, microphone. Thank you. Good. And hang down. And wiggle around a little bit. And the wiggle around is is kind of wave. Good. And roll up. Classic Jgonka. Relax arms. Feel the flow.
okay relax and still to be aware what is active part and what is passive we start with hips hips is leader motion stop and let the arms let the movements disappear yeah. chest chest is the leader head has tendency to be a leader so try such that you look as as far as possible behind you and stop head is the leader or even eyeball if you want to be more precise eyeball is the leader Usually, eyeball is, is the leader. Actually, mind is the leader. Actually, soul is the leader. <laughs> Stop. Let it disappear. knee is the leader huh? so start movements like in the skiing stop Step is the leader. Yeah. So I'm here and here step. Here and here step. Yeah. You can you can touch a little bit to ground or not. It's up to you. and stop <coughs> now tip of fingers is a leader yeah so start somehow like this 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 relax and same thing fist is the leader yeah because in martial arts many times a fist is the leader um, uh, we have we have uh, two kind of punch from this perspective one is 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 coming from from core yeah and then i i make the punch like this for example and one is the the fist is the is the leader and fist make punch body doesn't move and and then body body head so if i want to punch the fist is the leader uh i am i punch yeah, like 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 this and then i add the power this punch um every punch has ad advantage and disadvantage yeah and then of course we have like a solid structure and, and more kind of uh, punches this punch is uh, is invisible for the opponent because because normally you 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 don't don't show your opponent that you're doing because opponent reading subconsciously a body 
So if I if I want to punch now from body, I do I do this. Yeah, it's obvious. But if I do sneakily, the fist is coming here, and then it's going my body. The opponent realize much later than we are punching. Yeah, uh, you also here is. Uh, my, my 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 peripheral vision is is something I'm going uh, around the range. You can try try to see your 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 fingers, the tip of fingers, where you see it is roughly 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 here here yeah and somewhere somewhere here. So here is is blind spot and you deliver a fist uh, through the as close as possible using the blind spot and, and then you, when you are already very close to his chin um, to his chin then then you just you just punch okay so with fist yeah, here fist is going there fist is going there it's same then with, with toes, very similar. When I was the kid and I had like small, small airplane, something like, like matchbox, <laughs> and <laughs> playing with that, so it is a little bit similar. When you, when you lead with the fist, when you lead with the fist, what happened to your foot? Do you move with your fist or do they stay in contact with the ground? Look, <clears throat> there is there is two ways uh, how we can do it. One is that that we are we are we are grounded, yeah, and one is that we lift the lift the heel, and we lift lift the heel. That, that that's also also kind of kind of goinka. Depends uh, what what do you want to do. Uh, you, you, you try both. Some some people doing goinka such that lift 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 the the hills. Yeah, and some people are grounded. If I'm grounded, I I more stretch this 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 part of my of my torso because this is my maximum. And if I lift the heels, here is less tension. So I'm more, more, more stretching, uh, less stretching this, or more stretching this. It allows me to, to twist a little bit more. Good. Deep squat. Meantime, yeah, you can massage, massage yourself. Will you feel that you need it? Can be face. Ear is very good to massage your ear a little bit, pull it. Gum, massage gums, yeah. To have healthy teeth, prevention for paradentosis is massage your gums. Good. Stand up and to take the energy we do 10 with inhale squats yeah.
Good. And stretch a little bit. Toes, try the back toes the same direction or more or less same. Doesn't need to be exactly. Stay there. And tap a little bit where you feel where you feel tension. Yeah. Usually it's groins. Little bit tap. Grab. Fasciaia here. Yeah. This. This. Good. Other side. Vibration creates wave and wave as we know mechanically release tension and grab fascia. Good. Zgonka squat. Yeah. If you cannot do squat, don't need to go really down. Yeah. Because it is very hard. When we do squat, you can you can lift you can lift your your toes. Yeah. So I am making zgonka and I'm going lower, 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 lower. Then I make zgonka. Is going to here and then I'm going higher, 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 higher. Okay, so few is going to squat. It's not easy. If it's tough, breathe more. One more. Few press ups. One thing to the press ups there is different, massive different about your construction and which muscles you apply if you pushing yourself from the ground or if you push ground away from you okay usually we push ourselves from ground but now we focus to push the ground away from you you know like if there is bad guy you don't want to push yourself from the bad guy but you want to push bad guy away okay 
and again <laughs> try firstly what I say but then experiment and do opposite and try feel a different quality in this this case as usual we compare both quality we compare one way and other way to feel it okay go for it so push ground away let the ground coming close to you and now go away ground yeah Good. And when we are here, stretch a little bit. Yeah. Swings. And swings again such that we pull tip of the head to the sky. Toes are expanding there. So we expand and move your hips, wiggle hips from side to side, wiggle heels from side to side, and chest from side to side. And now bend to side a little bit and twist. Try to have a look as far and as high as possible. Add a little bit wiggle hips. Good. Back. Other side. And wiggle hips. Good. Neck to side. Forward. Good. Now. Firstly, before we do opposite, a little bit straight. We go around. Such the body settle down. In my opinion, according to my experience, it's, it's not the best idea to going from one extreme to other without let the body settle down in, the, in neutral position. So when I was going, for example, from, from swings or from the cobra to, uh, I call it egg, or what we're going to do now, uh, I, had, um, I feel that it is not good for my, for my spine. Okay? So now put legs behind you. You can touch the ground, but don't force it. Yeah, you don't need to. And hips a little bit. We go around. Yeah, wave with legs like this good legs one side and other side one side and other side oops and oops oops and oops good again Neutral position yeah. can be like this. Shift from one side, other side. And going a little bit in this position.
Yeah. And while I'm here, good. Back to the back to the position. But firstly, firstly, watch me. Yeah. To let me see a bit better. I move this camera a bit here. Yes. <clears throat> so firstly, firstly, watch me. If I'm going to this side, my head is going to this side and has this this rotation. Okay. If I'm going to this side, my head axis of head is going to other side, but but I'm watching there. Yeah. So I do it. I doing sitting sitting down. So legs is going to this side. That means the head is going to to opposite shoulder. Yes. And I am watching watching there. Yeah. If legs is going through left shoulder, head is going to right shoulder and is yeah, and is watching watching the toes. So rotation is to head, but the axis of the of the head is here. Yeah, so legs here, head there. Okay, legs legs is going there, head is going there with this rotation. It makes sense. So let's let's see. I am here. Leg is going to left shoulder. Head is going to right shoulder, but rotating, rotating to my feet. Then, if leg is going to right shoulder, head is going to left shoulder, but rotating, rotating to other other side okay so it is um, preparation to the row yeah. uh, today we focus a little bit to to row and aim is the balance what is not such easy as it look, looks like but we do our best okay so one more time maybe from this this side it will be better the leg is going there my head is going here but rotation is to the foot okay. then i'm going here and leg arm is going there one two three four yeah Okay, so going to one side, other side, one side, other side, such that you become comfortable in this awkward position. Okay, let's do it. doing I will have a look how you do it Tara head head you don't move the head yeah head head is move, move, moving like this or this yeah head one side or other side your head is still in same uh, same axis where is uh, where is legs
Do you mean my head is still staying in the center and not moving from side to side? Exactly. Now I now I bend like this. So if the leg is going here, my head is here, here, and the leg is going here. My head is is to this shoulder. So the head is here or here, here or here. But it's not in same same axis like his spine. Here legs there, head there, legs there, head there. Okay, so you automatically going to one side or to other side. Okay, uh, open. Let's a little bit open because we are quite a lot in close position. Good. So next step. Next step will be is going there but I'm not touching with my head I'm not touching to the ground. Okay, let me add the camera to a different position. Perhaps you can see it better. Okay, so Lex is going there. Maybe like this. Legs is going there and head, you see, is not touching. Head is not touching to the ground. If you fall down in mm, big speed or from, uh, from, from high position, it can be stairs, yeah? Once I, I, I fell down from stairs, I was, I was a little bit, a little bit silly. As a doorman, I was pushing guy from the club and the exit was downstairs. So I pushed him downstairs and he dropped down and like a judo guy, he, he and he throw me, throw me down. So I was pushing him here and suddenly he dropped down, pulled me and I was flying downstairs and it was quite, quite high. It was... Um, uh, I the steps where I stay was on the on the level of um, of my head, so I was falling down from very very high level. Yeah, and the situation was was <laughs> very bad. And when I when I yeah, so stairs was like this, and I was here, so I was falling down here, and I see that let's say that this is end of stairs i see that when i fell down that i hit with even i make the roll i will hit last or second last stairs with my head what would break my neck yes so in last moment when i was here i little bit jump i jump and then i was going i jumped through the last step and I roll myself, but I was I was rolling from very high level. Yeah, so there can be situation when this the roll saved my life. If I didn't uh, know how to roll, it was painful anyway because the the ground was very very hard. Uh, but if I didn't know how to roll, I would die. And if I didn't jump in the last moment, I would, I would probably also die because I would break my neck. Uh, it was just a moment. I didn't understand it. I was retrospectively going through my emotions. And then I realized what I did. And I did actually, uh, I, like, I, I like diving from the, from the tower to the... Um, to the swimming pool or from the rocks in Croatia to the sea. So fortunately, I'm very good in diving. Yeah, I can dive 10, 
uh, once I dive like 20 meters uh, uh, down. But if I didn't know how to dive and I didn't jump, like when I'm going to diving, um, it, it would be very bad. Yeah, so the situation can be, it, it doesn't need to be just normal fell down and, and ground can be quite hard. So therefore, we don't want to touch with head. If it's big uh, forces involved, you will touch, but you have different, maybe, yeah, but you have different, um, different quality. Yeah? So the, again, therefore, if I'm going here, I'm going through the shoulder and you see I'm not touching here. Yeah, you don't see it. Okay, <laughs> I try. I try from this, this position. Yeah. Okay, watch my head. Head is not touching to the ground and head is not touching here. You see? Here is not touching. There is always gap few centimeters. And same when I roll forward, I am not going through the head. I'm going through the shoulder and the head is still not touching to the ground. Is make sense? It so, makes sense, but, but it makes sense, but I can't seem to be able to lift my head. My head wants to be down on the floor. Yes, because you're going through the head and you're supposed to go through the shoulder blade. Okay, I'll try again. Okay, and, and, and then where are we going? We're going there that, that you can stay on the shoulder blade. Okay? Look, I'm now apart my arm just on the shoulder blade yeah here on the shoulder blade whoops i'm going from from which side you better see my shoulder blade yeah what oh, oh, here here whoops he's like like stands on the shoulder blade here better it's not easy because if you if you if you roll through the head like this <laughs> in the big speed you can break your skull or you can break your neck so therefore we're going here i do shape like this and head is high head is here F forward also forward and to other side and i am I'm touching my first contact. Okay, is with here the arm, 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 but, but torso touch with shoulder blade here. Oops, and also back here. You see, and the head is even not touching to the ground. Okay, let's do it. Here, here, yeah. Control one side, the other side. And important is that the here head is not touching to the ground. Better Tara, the best, better. Achka, you are not moving, you are not moving head. Yeah, your, your head is, is on the ground. Yeah, I know that is, that is not easy, but you going too much through the head. If you, even if you, if you, if you stay and you may grow, that would be very, very painful. And not that if you jump through the something, it will be. And if you stay 
and the level where I have the head, that would be at If I'm here, in this position, I'm on the one shoulder or other shoulder. So I'm like walking on the shoulder. Here, oh, here, here, here. One step, other step. Hoops and hoops. Therefore, I say that it's, it's very very hard you know many people can do row quickly no many people can do row slowly so <clears throat> if you are able to do it slowly then you know that you have uh, quite good technique and you have balance in any position yeah atka you are on both shoulders on both shoulder blades and you're also supposed to lift one shoulder blade. Yeah. Sebastian, it looks good. Could you a little bit turn camera more to the ground that I see the details, the contact with the ground? Better, maybe too much, like this. Yeah. I think you kind of do it sometimes, but it, it hurts the, the shoulder blade. <laughs> yeah, it does, it does. But um, try. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> uh, watch me for a while. I'm going to do the roll in the position that any position I can stay for, for I don't know, maybe even a few minutes. Here, here, here. Here, 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 here. I can stay here and you see I'm not touching with the head and I'm not touching with the shoulder blade. This shoulder blade here can be close, open, close, open, but it's free. Because all my weight is on this shoulder. Here, 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 here. So I can control my body in any position of the row. The same when I'm going forward. Here, here, here. Here, 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 do, 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 etc. I hope that you like challenges. Do you? <laughs> It would be so easy, it wouldn't be so fun. I think that <laughs> what I like on uh, uh, my body work, when I cannot do something, then I do it, do it, do it so much till I can do it uh, well. Okay? Are you still happy to play with this? Let's do it. Okay, uh, um, give me a few seconds. Let me explain you all methodic how I'm teaching role. 
I am teaching all row backwards because in my opinion it's easier. Okay? So uh, how I do it? So firstly somebody make a row backwards and and then I do that uh, row backwards but just not finish and then I look forward yeah, this was for example for for 50 percent then I'm going for 60 percent a little bit further and immediately same way as I was going backwards I'm going forward yeah then I'm going here we nearly finish and then I'm going forward and then I'm I'm here and then I'm going forward and then I can even stand up and then I am going then I'm going forward okay one thing that always happens to me when I do uh, back roll that I always put the uh, one knee on the ground and if the ground is very hard it, it hurts a lot of course it can damage my my knee so how can I avoid uh, putting my knee into the ground going directly to the, to the feet <laughs> the training training on the ground like <clears throat> sometimes I have crazy idea um, <laughs> here where I'm training in Tambridge Wells we are training in the in the park and it's flat but next to the park is going a road which is downhill yeah it's like a concrete road and we going we going downhill on the concrete <laughs> and and it it uh, helps you to to take the shape such that you don't um, touch with the knees because you're supposed to you're supposed to yeah pull like 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 this yeah, I I touch when I'm going forward. Yeah, oops, it's not when I'm going backwards. I touch maybe a little bit knees, but but when I'm standing up, uh, let me see if I can do it without touching knees. That's a good question. Yeah, I can do it without knees, but is is not necessary. Okay let's add arms arms work okay what doing arms so arms is always on the ground and is and is pushing you here or here yeah this pulling yeah push or pull or or, or manipulating so um, firstly let's here do the arm that that the arm is is moving me. Put one arm here in front of you, and now arm is pulling me yes. from side to side. Here, 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 here. Oops, 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 oops. Other arm here, 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 here. Forward, backward, forward, backward. But focus that you don't do it with legs but you do it with arms so here i want to pull myself and now i i want to push myself from the ground here 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 oops so the power is going through the arm oops oops other arm forward backward forward backward oops 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 Clockwise here, here, here. Yeah. Uh, look, I I can do it kind of nearly with our arms, but it's 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 not that. It's not uh, going um, from the body. Yeah. <clears throat> Same like if we do wave from uh, from wall. Yeah, so I, I push from myself from the wall, or I can put just arm there and I can make the steps. But that's that's different different quality. Okay, so back to the ground and make the circle clockwise with one arms, 
anti-clockwise with other arms good other arms anti-clockwise other arms clockwise forearm all forearm yeah clockwise forearm other arm anti-clockwise with all forearm Of course, that there is involved also legs and bottom, yeah, and other muscles. But try as less as possible. Go anti-clockwise, other forearm. Yeah, you see now I move with the hips. I realize that I did it um, wrong because here I supposed to do here yeah. anti-clockwise these arms. Other arm clockwise. Good. Relax. And let's do cobra a little bit. And wiggle around a little bit. Good. Let's do the roll backwards such that we focus for arms. Okay. So I am going here. And when I'm going backwards, one arm pushing me away to add, me, add uh, rotation to my body. So if I'm coming here, watch these arms is coming this. Eh? So this arm push me here. This arm push from the ground. Yeah, I lift the fingers. To, see, to show you that this arm, but normally, of course, that all palm is is there. So here, I, I push myself here. So I'm here, and I add rotation here. Is pushing myself from the arm. Okay. So this is the, this is the first exercise when we focus that I'm here, and this arm is working. Okay. This arm is working. Oops. Oh, oops. Okay. Let's let's do it a few times and focus for that arm. That, that, that arm push you. You always with the arm control the ground as much as possible. Good. Now we focus to to other arm. So I'm going here, and this other arm 
is going next next to my head here okay like this and it will it will push push to the ground so one push me here and other is coming here and push me okay so the the, the arm gave me a balance and also the pushing from the ground allowed me to keep a head away from the ground okay, so one one more time okay, here you see that I'm going backwards I'm already going with this arm and I I'm searching for the ground here I want to touch find the ground here yeah, I found it and then I push myself from from the ground okay I noticed that Sebastian he was doing uh, good before and Achka before you put the arm to the other side Yeah, so one is here and one arm is here yeah this and this yeah here oops this is this and this Okay, watch it. Two, 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 two here. And here. And then watch what doing this, this arm. Yeah. So if I do it like, like this arm is pushing me here, and in one moment it rotate and push me with back hands in rotation push me push me like this and that's the moment where the arm expand the arm is not pushing me from the ground but expand to the ground in a similar um, similar way as I explained on the beginning with the steps okay so I'm watch this right arm yeah. I'm going here 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 and now uh, this okay, so there I want to expand one more time <laughs> and similar way I'm going I'm going back this 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 oops oops Oops. Oops. And then we're going to even harder things. When you learn to roll, then we're going to roll with breathing. Because even people who are um, 
rolling uh, very well has the tendency that in the moment of the touch the ground they stop breathing yeah so this exercise uh, series of exercises uh, continue like then you do it with with exhale yeah so for example like this or then we do it with inhale what is much harder yeah, like or <coughs> and then <coughs> to be sure that you are really free breathing you are talking during the um, rolling yeah if you are able to talk during the rolling and you don't stop talking that means that you are really free to do whatever you want yeah and talking during the rolling fluently without stop your talking that's quite tough especially if you do it uh, from stance okay the, the roll is one of the uh, basic and also also quite quite hard uh, ability but for it's good for back to keep body agile so it's very good for health and in the fight is necessary if you if you don't know roll you will uh, you will have fear that you fell down actually uh, when we when we stand up yeah i can stand up already so during during uh, in our lives in our lives we have a few fears and same fears is all the time with us subconsciously yeah it's uh, I mentioned before that I ha used to have I still have probably kind of fear but uh, since I start fasting the fear that I will be without food is is uh, uh, smaller then we have fear that we will we cannot breathe that we are without oxygen that for any reason you you cannot inhale if you're swimming under water uh, you can feel it and one of these kind of fears which is all the time with us is fear that that you fell down when we stay like like i do now then subconsciously most of us has always fear that fell down yeah and this we had from childhood since we stand up the fear is with us how to get rid of this fear to know fell down on the ground quite safer help us to get rid of this fear or minimize this fear so therefore role is is very important good here we go it's time here so now if you have any questions or you want to mention something you have the time it's very hard uh, I think this is a very hard exercise, but I will uh, play with it and see if I can get to roll as good as you, Tibi. 
Perfect, perfect. I will, I will, be, I will be glad. And hopefully, meantime, I do it even better. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very hard, very very difficult for me. Probably yeah. Probably because, probably because I have a fear of falling or breaking my neck. That's what it is. Yes. So therefore, it's important to find a position that you are not touching with the head during the rolling. Okay. Then you will be without this fear. If you are able to roll without touching your head, you will have not fear that you break your neck because there is not the artificial leverage to your neck. But still, okay. your, 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 your body weight is going through the head. The fear is right. The fear should be there. Yes, that fear is protecting you. And if you find a way how to roll such that you protect your head and protect your neck, then the, the fear just gone. It needs techniques, balance, and also kind of inner power to do it. I thought, Sebastian, you did it really well. Only oh, occasionally your head, your head kind of a bit close to the floor, that's all, other than that. But you're doing the, the technique though. I didn't see Andrea do it because I couldn't see. <laughs> Andrea, can you do the roll? It a lot. Huh? I have been practicing it a lot like for a year, I think. Oh, have you? Oh, good for you. Yeah, yeah because it, well, it, it's, it's a very basic exercise in Kung Fu also. So, but it's, it's been very, very difficult for me too. Uh, uh, TB, yeah. am I right to say if you can roll, means you can break the fall, right? Uh, sorry, uh, uh, ask again the question, I didn't catch it. When you can learn how to roll, means you can break a fall. Instead of falling, you can roll and come up again. You yes. Break the fall. Yes. Then, uh, then we do it. Then we do it such that uh, these these exercises, the rolling continue such that that um, that you 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 leaning yeah you leaning you leaning forward and going on the edge of your balance uh, uh, when you falling uh, when you losing balance forward or backwards the first what you want to do is make squat as quick as possible because I don't want to fall down like like this, but I want to <laughs> like to the, to the face. But I want to bring my body mass down as quick as possible, safe away. And safe away is is going going to down. Yeah, you can see also also kids. Yeah, it start start walking and lost lost balance. So make squat and then. And then uh, sit down on the on the bottom. So uh, immediately, when you realize that you're losing balance, you make squat, and then you fall down from much uh, lower level. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you make squat and you roll, but um, yeah, then we pushing to each other or walking. And somebody give you legs and you lost the balance or you going going and somebody step on your foot or you're walking backwards and somebody put a leg under you so going backwards with closed eyes and whoops and and if you yeah like this is uh this is somebody's somebody's uh like yeah so I'm, I'm, I'm walking, walking, and and here, oh, uh, and I would, I would fall down, yeah. So um, we do more exercise, and then you jump through something, etc. Then you can do it from steps, yeah, from, 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 from a little bit higher level. Uh, I very like to uh, roll downhill forward or downhill backwards because rolling downhill add you acceleration 
and you don't do just one role, but you do more roles. There is other aspect that you also protect your spine. There is uh, many details that uh, which part of body you you touch the ground and how you roll. Uh, what is the line of the uh, the safest uh, surface uh, rolling, etc. So there is there is more theory which we will go through, but this is uh, this is basic. It's always the first time, so it's good. It was a very good class, TV. Thank you. It's, yeah, thank it's you a very, very important much. exercise. Very important but my, thing to know. my shoulder is a bit kind of tight at the moment now. <laughs> Open, yeah. And it's also good massage. It's a good massage. Yeah. The ground uh, massage you. One of the best massage is on massages is on the ground. And they also give you very quickly feedback. If you are yeah. stiff and rigid, it's painful. If you are smooth and relaxed, then it's much less painful or it's not painful at all. Okay. Any other questions? No. Cool. Thank you for coming and hopefully see you next week. Okay. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Yeah,